the uh, Frank's done a great job with that, and he wouldn't have, you know, uh, he wouldn't be that successful if he had any talents. Okay, <laughs> no talents. He pays attention to details, and when you do that, there are no giveaways. I've heard a lot about his how fundamentally sound his teams are. I, I didn't know that before I started asking questions. Do I assume you would agree with that? Absolutely, yeah. Uh, you know, I go back a long time watching Frank Beamer teams. Frank, as, as a Penn State grad, what's your reaction to today? Well, let me say this. That is a, a tragic situation on many, many, many levels. Foremost and not least are the victims, which are now pushed in the back of this whole scenario again. They should be kept in the forefront and the severity of this crime should be what we're talking about. There are other tragic stories. For me to pontificate now in this venue uh, is important. I have opinions on it, and I'll be more than glad to share them at a later date, some other time. But now is not the place or the time. We're here for the ACC in Boston College. I'll ask you one question related to that, if you indulge me. The scholarship production, you know, schools have lost five scholarships or eight or ten, whatever, how damaging that is. Can you even fathom any program competing with the scholarship production that we're talking about? It's a tragic situation. Uh, once again, it's going to take a while before anybody understands what the ramifications are. What just happened? It's not going to be cool. Apologize as an aspect like regarding that situation. Are there kids you think you'll be interested in talking to or seeing if they want to? Well, that's a that's a uh, fluid situation, and uh, once again, the nature of uh, everything is adapt to the situation. So we'll see how that develops. We need scholarships available. We don't have 85. Uh, we're not at the, the limit, but I, I'm not sure I understand yet uh, what's happening. What the you know? And our, our rules guy interpret what's going on. Do you know exactly what the what it is? Um, well, I know that they can transfer immediately. Transfer has immediate eligibility. But I mean, you don't know how it counts or doesn't count or anything, right? I mean, as long as you're under 85, it'll. it'll I mean, there wouldn't be a. Right. If you if you go over the max, then you take away one the following year. But you have to get 84 and 13, 14 years. That's been something to talk about in the offseason. Well, we'll adjust to it. You have, you have five players from Pennsylvania. You, is that some place you normally recruit? Oh, we recruit, anyway? yeah, yeah. We're, there, are, there are players on that team that we actively recruited. There are a couple that uh, were committed to us that. Uh, for whatever reason, decommitted or committed or not, you know, who knows what how it turns out. But that's that's one of our recruiting areas, sure. about just the precedent this can set in terms of the NCAA ruling out something without going through some more investigative channels and enforcement channels and that kind of thing. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a convoluted situation. And, uh, 
from Adam to It's going to be interesting to see how it plays out. Interesting to see how it plays out. I'm not sure what to think about it. Yet. Didn't we read that about a year ago that coaches said that they wanted stiffer punishments for rules violations, just in general? Uh, yeah, but you know, this is different, right? And I think we we'll all, we, that's, there's not too many people that can agree on a lot of things with this, <laughs> but I think we all can agree, this is different. And, uh, I don't know what applies to it. I really don't. Once again, as I said, I got I got a lot of opinions on it, but not to be shared at this time. Or matter.